Hi, it's Alaska Granny. It's a great time of year to make out your shopping list for the holiday gift guide for preppers. I hope you're more excited about the upcoming holiday season than my two grandchildren were to see Santa Claus. I took a trip to Cabela's to find wonderful gifts for preppers, and the first item that I spotted were these beautiful backpacks in the fishing department. I thought these were very attractive looking. They're very sturdy. They're well made. They have lots of different compartments. They have the cinch up tabs on the sides. Very sturdy straps. They also have the fasteners for the waist and the chest. They have a waterproof compartment and they even include some utility boxes. I thought it was a good buy for $89.99, so if you're looking for some kind of a new, sturdy, very durable backpack, whether it's for your bug out bag or just your outdoor activities, check those out. I also found a waterproof backpack, and these are super handy to have if you're out in any kind of inclement weather or you're into boating. The dry sack backpack is very sturdy. It's made out of waterproof material. You roll down and clip the top so that it can't leak at all. And it's a very sturdy size with nice sturdy straps if you wanted to use it as a backpack. I thought this was also reasonably priced. It's always a great idea to look at the multi-tools by Cabela's. I always buy tons of these when I travel to Africa and I hand them out to the locals and they find them extremely handy. For only $7.99, they have a wide variety of blades and functions and it's a great little multi-tool that folds up compactly, can go in your bug out bag. You can have one for everyone in your family. Keep them in your car, your kitchen drawer, in any place you're going to need any kind of tool. Any time of year is a great opportunity to enhance your first aid supplies. Cabela's has a wide variety of first aid kits, all different price points, all different purposes, depending on what your needs are and what kind of first aid gear you already have. I have several of the Adventure Medical Kit and First Aid Supplies, and they're very well made, they're very well organized, and the and the included items are very useful. If you already have a first aid kit, think about stocking up on some of the extra items that you may not have yet, such as a trauma pack, a SAM splint, and even get a compass if you need to. Cabela's has some refillable hand warmers, portable fans that you can hang around your neck to help keep you cool in the summer, and something you might want to think about, how about oxygen to go? Have you seen the Boost Oxygen in a bottle? It's 95% pure oxygen canister, and if there's some reason that you might have a need to have oxygen, you have this for only $16.99. Clean water is paramount to every emergency. Everyone everyone on your list would enjoy a Life Straw water bottle with a filter. You don't have to sip through a straw into a stream and you have a nice regular sized water bottle that can go into the pouch of your backpack, clip onto your bag, and it's the type of bottle that people enjoy having along. And so having one with a Life Straw capability is a great idea. You can also get Camelback Advanced Filtration inline water filters for your bladders in your backpack for $40. The Sawyer water filters are also great. The Micro Squeeze, you can put just about anything on it. I tried some kind of a tap filter before, and I'm not sure if it was a Sawyer, but it didn't fit onto my faucet. But maybe this is something to try and see if it would work for you. Sawyer also has a gravity system that you can filter the water into another container. That would be really handy if you were at camp or in a long-term situation when you need to filter wild water. Cabela's also had some collapsible items. They had a collapsible sink for $24.99 and two sizes of collapsible buckets, a 2.64 gallon for $22.49 and a 1.32 gallon for $17.49. Then I saw this outdoor backyard torch and I thought, wait a second, I have something like that in my shed and I have been trying to figure out what the heck it is. I didn't remember ever buying it or putting it there, but this thing is in my shed and now I need to go back home and check it out and see if this is how you use it and this is what it is. So see, one of the reasons why it's a great idea to search around in the store and go up and down every aisle, you never know what you'll find out which you already even have. Bear attack deterrent is always a good idea. You don't have to just be in bear country to worry about predators. 
Take note that there are two different types. One sprays 30 feet and one sprays 35 feet and the price is reflected in the capability. Cabela's had some multi-purpose shelters. I have one of these. I got it though on Amazon and I use it for my portable toilet. It pops up great and it works nicely. And they're trying to show you how amply sized this is if there's a great big guy sitting in a big old chair. I use mine for the portable toilet out at Granny Camp and it's very roomy. And here in Cabela's they also had some portable toilets. They have a fold to go so you can fold it up and take it with you for $49.99. They also had the Luggable Lou, just the seat cover. And they used to sell these as a set, the Luggable Lou with the bucket, but they don't seem to sell that as a set anymore, but you can get just the seat and get any five gallon bucket, and the seat alone is $15.99. They have the Thetford Porta Potty, and I have one of these that I used out at Granny Camp when my grandkids came last summer, and this is a great portable toilet because it actually has a holding tank, and it has a flushing mechanism. It holds some water, and it works great. It's most like a regular potty if you're out camping or should something happen that we need to shelter in place and the water stops running you might want to have one of these for just simply for your own comfort and hygiene needs. Cabela's had some nice sturdy water storage containers I've been buying these a little at a time over the years I have quite a selection and the prices have certainly gone up they're $24.99 be sure that you get the sturdiest container you can because I bought a few at a Walmart a few years ago and they leaked around the seams and were not worth the money and they were nearly as expensive as these. Check out the adult PVC poncho if you're really going to be out in horrible rainy weather then you want to have a very sturdy poncho and not just something made out of a plastic bag. These would also be great because you could in an emergency T turn this into a shelter if you had to. Think about gear repair. You can get Gorilla Tape to go. You can get repair tape, the Tenacious Tape by Gear Aid that can repair all of your different types of outdoor gear, your tents and backpacks and things. It comes in different colors. They have sealants, adhesives, cord locks, adjustable buckles, and all kinds of things that could go on to your outdoor gear. Check over your gear and see what kinds of toggles and buckles you have and see if you don't need tent seam sealant or tent pull splint or some kind of buckles. And those are great to have as a first aid kit for your outdoor gear. Here's something interesting, Rumpel Original Puffy Blankets. They look really soft and fluffy, but boy are they expensive, $99. And the one that was the prettiest looking is, I guess, a Rocky Mountain National Park, and that one's $129. So if you are choosing one, uh, pay attention to what the different colors are because the different colors cost a different price. How about a battery-operated fan? They have just a five-inch two-speed fan. They also had a clip-on fan. I bought a clip-on fan last year to use in my trailer and it actually has also not only battery powered but it's USB rechargeable so you might want to look for those kind of features. Power outages are also widespread. I've experienced several already. Cabela's has generators in stock. They aren't cheap but they're sturdy and then you need to pay attention to all of the different accessories and adapters that you would need to use this. Whatever kind of generator you think you could use check them out well and read them over and then learn how to use it long before an emergency hits when you need it. Propane bottles Portable propane is up to $5.99. Cabela's had portable heaters by Mr. Heater. They had a Big Buddy, which is $149. And the portable Mr. Buddy, I always call him Mr. Buddy, but he's actually just the Buddy Mr. Heater. And I have one of these that I use in my home, and I bought a few of these for my daughter. And these work fantastic in a power outage situation. If you don't have a tent yet, Cabela's has a wide variety. They come in all price points. You can get every kind of tent from the Alaskan Guide model down to the little dome tents, portable camping tents. There's all different kinds of tents at every kind of price point. Make sure you have some kind of a tent because just going out and camping in the backyard is even fun and it can prepare you for emergency situations. 
It's a good time of year also to get sleeping bags if you don't have them. They had everything from built for play for kids. When you're going to invest in a sleeping bag, check out how low they are designed for. The C to Summit sleeping bags are really great quality, but they do cost more. Think about the coldest temperature you would probably be in, and you want to make sure that your sleeping bag can accommodate that. If you don't have a sleeping bag pad, you might want to get that if outdoor activities is something you enjoy. Cabela's also had roll top tables. I think these are neat. I don't have one of these roll top tables, but I think I'm going to talk to Santa about it. This would be nice out at granny camp. How about a fire pit ring? These seem to be folded up small and then you just set them up because the box is small. So they must unroll out to make this fire pit ring. Cabela's also had a fire bowl that you would hook up to a propane tank. Those look really nice. I've used a few of the outdoor propane things and they work great. My favorite socks are from Cabela's. These Cabela's wool socks, four packs, they still have them. They're not much more than they used to be and these are long lasting. You can get some of these and they last for 10, 15, 20 years. They just don't wear out. They wear well. They're excellent in cold weather. I love them. Here's something new and exciting, an exotic meat and cheese gift box. And I thought these were very cute. They wrapped them into an ammo can called a straight shooter and a fishing box called the real catch, except there's not fish in it. But they have venison, elk, wild boar, some cheese, jalapeno pepper cheese, and a little jar of mustard. So if you are looking to try some game meat sausage, check out these Hunter's Reserve and the Straight Shooter and the Real Catch at Cabela's. It's a good time of year to be thinking about all the seasons of the year and what kind of things you might want and check it out. What are the things that you'd like to get for the preppers on your list? Wishing you happy holidays. If you enjoyed my video, please share it with someone else you think might like it. And please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.